you have a pet, chances are you like it a lot. So why not treat your pet with something amazing? And you will also treat yourself because look at it, it looks so nice. In this video, it will be all about the pet tech by Pet Gugu. But jokes aside, right here we have a straight to the point water dispenser. If you didn't know, flowing water is way better than stationary water. Especially for cats, it helps them to stay hydrated. Really important and to keep them fed regularly. Even if you have a super busy lifestyle, we also got this automatic pet feeder right here. Now this is where gets futuristic we have a camera built in and also a scale down here so that the food portioning will be precise and aside from that of course many many more awesome features so let's get right to it got the new drip from pet google the smart waterfall and the smart feeder by the way if you're interested already then check out the product links in the description i will list and link the best deals for you and now let's check it out so here we have the boxes. If you're wondering, they're the same on all sides basically. Except, well on top we have this, but on the bottom we actually have a bit of info. So check it out right here and with that said, let's unbox. Okay, so we have this on top and then here we have the rest. So we have the water fountain on the right and the feeder on the left. So let's get to the accessories and the manual. Let's start with the feeder. So we have the quick start guide that was on top. We have it right here. App connection right there, function description and pet food choice. All right. And then we also have this box right here. Brand on top. That's a neat box to say the least. And in here we have more paperwork. We have the brick power adapter says it right here in white with a nicely sleeved cable so he, that's a brick with all these specs down here and the plug right there and now check out this cable absolutely beautiful in here we also have the bowl great that's a porcelain bowl we have the base and the top and that's that's a solid looking bowl right there let's put it in here as well as the brick. Now let's check out the manual. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And lastly, we also have the drying box, this on the back. And in here we have this. So that's what it looks like. All right, let's move on to the fountain. So we have this filter, filter right there. And then we also have a box with more accessories. Also, just the charging brick actually. The plug looks very similar and we also have the same amazingly looking sleeved cable, but the power brick itself is a bit smaller as you can see. And down here we have all the specs and features. Well, well, well. So we can pull this out just like that. And there we go. Done with the unboxing. Let's get to my first impressions and then of course to a close overview. So here we have it. Both of them have this beautiful marble design. We have this protective film on here. Let's get rid of it. We have the feeder and the fountain. Yeah, both of them look beautiful. They don't look overbuilt. They look classy, kind of minimalistic, futuristic with all this transparent plexiglass. Really cool looking. And same for the feeder with this nice porcelain plate. And also up here, that's a giant feeder in here, so this can go days on end, probably even weeks on end. And it's also sealed. You can lock it. Nice buttons, beautiful power bricks, it's amazing. The sleeved cables, all these details, just great. Okay, so let's take a close look. So starting with the fountain, we have the top part and of course the lower part with the pump right here and the pump also has a filter. We have the specs right here and then right here is where you can insert the filter and this whole thing will pop down and this will only work one way. It's quite genius. Just like that and we can slide it back in. Nice. Then we have the main reservoir, just a nice big transparent plexiglass tank, really nice. And lastly, we have the base. This is shiny and this is more on the matte side. And we also have the on off button right here for nice rubber feet on the bottom, right here for the power input. And here the small print specs also from the back and from the side. A great looking base station, just three parts. 
super simple, straightforward. And here is a little flap, you can pull it out right here. And best of all is that there is a two-stage filtration system in here, so just the best for your lovely pet. Moving on to the feeder, once again we can remove the top part. There is a rubber seal in here to keep it dry, that's why it's a bit hard to remove. And here the release mechanism. Okay, moving on to the hopper. We have two locks on each side and when we move them upwards then we can remove the hopper. So this is it from the side. As I said, that's a large tank right there. Down here with the feeding mechanism. This will just keep turning and it checked the food. And in the middle, well on top, we have the triple triple blade. We already know this porcelain pot, the four feet for precise weighing. So this is quite advanced to say the least. This is the base, bottom of the base. We can roll the cable down here, power in here. There is also USB-C and here we have these, well the specs. Here we have it from the side with the locking mechanism right here. And if you're wondering from the inside, it's right here and it looks like this. That's the top with the hole where the food will just fall through. And of course, we also have the front with the Wi-Fi button and the manual feeding button and also the camera. And not to forget the status LED. And right here, we have four scale pads for weighing the food. This is genius. So let's put it back together. So we have the base. We have the bowl, two, three, and four. Also, just a few parts, straightforward and intuitive build. And not to forget, lastly, we have the drying inlay. That's what it looks like. And now I can understand why we have this lock, this mechanism, open, insert, close. Genius. We have added the drying module, and just like that, the food will stay dry. Very well. Not bad, right? So let's check out the app and then of course test it. Check this out. This water fountain looks even better filled up. We can go empty with the food dispenser, but the pump shouldn't run dry ever. So that's why it's filled up. And now let's also hook it up to the power. By the way, these cables have a wear resistant nylon sleeve. So even if your cat decides to chew on it, they will last a long time. Very thoughtful. So in here, Oh, and there we already go. And let's also power up the treat dispenser. Check this out, it is actually completely silent. That is incredible. When we press down here, we can turn it off just like that and turn it on again. Nice. And the dispenser, just like that. Welcome to use Pekugu Smart Pet Feeder. Whoa, hello. The connections are underneath. It's kind of hard to plug them in, but thanks to that, it's not accessible whatsoever by the cat. So you can hide the cables perfectly if you want to do so. And now let's get to the app. As you can see, the publisher is Shenzhen User Robotics. Pet Google is the app. Let's open it up and agree. And first of all, let's sign up right there. Just like that and let's sign up. The app is super fast and there we go. So we have the home segment right here where we have our dashboard basically. Then we have the devices tab where we can add devices. And as you can see, there are already quite a few. And then we also have the me segment. Here we can add pets and we also have the message center. So first of all, let's add a device and we want to give first of all all the permissions and we want to add the waterfall first and it's amazing because they already got detected so let's tap on the waterfall and first of all we need to add pets okay i will do it right now so that's a cat of my dad i don't have one he recently adopted one and lucky is a good seven years old so we don't know the birth date but that should be accurate enough so we have the gender it's a boy sterilization yes breed is kitty and that's the breed ah it's right there siamese cat perfect the weight may probably five and we also have a tracker all right, let's save. So once again, let's add the waterfall first. Let's add the Wi-Fi and let's wait for it to connect. Check this out, by the way. As I said, it is literally completely silent. Then we have the placement tip. Okay, finish. And let's add another device. Let's add the smart feeder and let's do it. Trying to connect to the network. 
Nice voice, by the way. Network connected. Just like that. Once again, placement tip and finish. So, and now on the meet tab, we have Lucky, the pet, and we have the devices. So let's check out the pet water dispenser. And that's always a great idea to update the firmware. Let's do it right now. So it just restarted and there we go. Let's return and let's do the same for the smart feeder as well. The meal call is turned on. Let's go to the settings and let's see for more upgrade. Okay, so this one is the latest. So let's go back to the pet water dispenser. So first of all, we have the filter life right there, 30 days remaining at least. Then we can also pause it right here and also activate it just like that. Then we have the continuous flow and we can check out week, month, year, no data as of now. And we can also go for intermittent and that's the behavior right now. So I guess we can set that up in the settings. So with that said, let's enter. So we have remaining days of cleaning. Uh -huh, that's also great with a detailed manual and instructions on how to clean it all. Great. Then we have the filter life and this is how to, oh, we can just reset the filter that is great i thought you need to buy a new one but we can just reset the filter that's amazing here we can update the firmware we have the device information right there and we have the product manual available online great stuff and down here we can also remove the device okay let's go back so let me try to remove a bit of water let's go back to the continuous flow and now let's try to grab a bit of that water let's remove a bit of that water we just got this notification, pets come here to drink water. Wow, I can't believe that it already got registered. That is super fast. So I just noticed that the water was completely blown out. So once again, let me grab a bit of that water. That is fascinating. There we go. There we go, nice. Okay, so that was the water dispenser. Let's check out the smart feeder. I don't have cat food available, so we will have to wait for the actual test. But for now, let's check out all the settings. So 10G manually, set the quantity, 10 grams, confirm. The remaining food in the food tank is insufficient. Please add it in time. Mm -hmm. It will rec recognize that. We have ring, it's currently muted. Then we have the plan feeding plan right there monday times g add okay so that's what the delivery sounds like and 10g there we go so this is how we can add feeding times and yes we have the camera of course and that's the live feed of the camera pretty dope and we Ain't no way, ain't no way we can move this camera. I cannot believe it. This is actually a little dome in there. Can you see it? This camera right here, you can move it around. Oh my goodness. This is way more advanced than I thought. So just like that, you can actually check out the bowl and you can talk, give it the permission, allow and hello. hello. Oh, wow. oh wow. And there is not even feedback. Even feedback. Pretty nice. That's what it sounds like. That's what it sounds like. Not bad. Not bad. So let's disconnect the call. And there is also a light. Yep, you can see it. There is also a light when it's night. And we can also listen to it. Hello. Wow, nice. And once again, we can, we can do the manual feed. Okay, and lastly, let's check out the settings. Ah, so we have the device volume right there. Ah, so we can ring it. It's meal time. <laughs> It's meal time. That is funny. Okay, then we can set the voice prompt. Okay. Oh, we can also do a recording. Come here, kitty kitty. Food is coming. Oh my goodness, that is amazing. We can calibrate the feeder tray. Then there is also a child, child lock. Is on. Child lock. Feeding mode is off. All right, child, child lock. lock. Ah, so we can also press this button right there for a manual feeding dose. The remaining food yeah. Is Nice. Remaining food control. That's genius actually. So, so let's set it to 100. Confirm. Very well. Then we have the life of the desiccant. Also with a nice tutorial how to remove it, how to replace it. Then once again we have the manual online. Device information right there. Upgrade the firmware. Reset and also log report. And here we can also remove the device. And we also have a do not disturb mode from to Perfect. So really cool, really cool. Amazing app, amazing devices. So we are ready for an actual test.
So, here we go, looking good already. Okay, so we have the water fountain going. Yes, it's good. It's fresh water. So, there we go. And now that we have food inside, we can actually try it out for real. So let's press the Tenji manually and confirm. The remaining food in the food tank is insufficient. Please add it in time. Oh, wow. It's meal time. Okay, let's put it back in again. Yeah, there's, that's clearly not enough. Food tray installed. So good thing that it's measuring it because this way it will keep trying when it's not reaching the tensions. Now let's try. Let's try twenty. Please add it in time. It's meal time. Nice. And now all that's left to do is to wait for the cat and see what will happen. Schau mal da. Lucky, schau mal. Schau mal hier. Schau mal, Lucky. The remaining food in the food tank is insufficient. Please add it in time. It's meal time. So the cat will obviously need to get used to it. This might take a bit of time, but eventually, yes, try it out. No, a system like this is just way better. Always clean water. The remaining food in the food tank is insufficient. Sadly, we had no luck with the cat. It is quite possible, especially for older cats, that they will need at least a few days to adapt to the new feeding and drinking system, but it is for sure worth it in the long run compared to regular bowls, especially when it gets to the water fountain, since it is just so much better than just still water that will accumulate dust and dirt. And what you can see now is, of course, what it will look like after the cat or the cats have adapted to the new gadgets and start to like it. It looks lovely. It's great tech. Definitely big thumbs up from my side. If I had a cat, I would get it. These two devices for sure. So as I said in the beginning, flowing water is just way more appealing to cats, which are chronically dehydrated. Look it up for yourself. You will want to get yourself a device like this when you read about it. It's really important. And moreover, thanks to the filter in here, all sorts of debris, dust, cat hair will get filtered out and this makes the flowing water always stay pristine and in perfect condition and this is even more appealing especially to sensitive cats and of course all the monitoring over the app is really something else so with this we got the hydration covered and of course the smart feeder takes care of the nutritional side of things we have the same app but of course thanks to the build many many more possibilities you can monitor your pet or pets over the video feed thanks to the camera and you can precisely set up the amount of food that will get dropped into the bowl as well as the timing. So this way you can perfectly feed your pet no matter if you're at home or not. It will always be in perfect condition, never hungry and that is of course very comforting to know. Aside from that both devices look great and are definitely of premium quality. You can also tell by the top-notch build quality, just perfect from the bottom to the top large tanks for both. The feeder is sealed very well, just great concepts all in all and a definitely drippy. Check out the product links in the description if you're interested. But before you go, smash that like button, then subscribe, ring the bell and click all to never miss amazing tech magnet videos. That's it for this one. Enjoy it and I will see you soon.